How you doing guys? I'm Sean, welcome to Rambles with my camera. Okay, today's Ramble, today's video. I'm going to get this asked all the time. What is the best camera to use for street photography? Now, if you Google search what's the best camera to use for, and I've done that by the way earlier on, you'll be amazed at the, the different range of cameras that they all, with authority, tell you that's the best camera. And this camera's better than this camera, this camera, this, this. And you look, and they're all, they're all conflicting, like, you can one or two that would use the same. They all throw in the Leica. Only Cartier Bresson use the Leica. So it has to be a Leica. The Leica has to be in there. Do you know what I mean? And throwing a couple of range and a couple of uh, mirrorless cameras as well is in there. And then oh, full frame cameras, oh, the Nikon's better than Canon. The Canon's better than Nikon. And I have to say, tell you that if you're actually looking for the best camera for street photography, you're looking for something that doesn't exist. And why I'm saying it doesn't exist? Because there's no such thing as the best, because everybody's going to be different. Everybody's going to be different. I could be getting a mirrorless camera that would have no wee viewfinder in the back, it has the LCD viewfinder. I hate and I detest um, them LCD viewers. I need a, the viewfinder, the proper viewfinder. And the camera hasn't got that. And I had the uh, Nikon L3330. And uh, multiple cameras for getting me out and taking photographs, but there was no free finder. I had to hold the camera like that and taking a photograph. I kept putting them up to my head by mistake like this. But you have to hold it up like that and you're sitting and looking at the free finder. I don't like that. So that's not the perfect camera for me. So if you can come up with a camera that hasn't got a free finder in the pack, but for me it's not the perfect one. Everybody's different, you see. And it's up to you to find what your needs is. Now I'm shooting that 3300, Nikon 3300. It's not weather shield. So whenever I'm out taking street, and it starts drizzling, it starts raining, I have to hide it. Well, to me, that's not a practical camera for street photography in that context. But then again, if you happen to be living in a certain warm climate, that rain is only uh, intermittent, not to hear like in Ireland, like, you know what I mean? Look up Umbrella, you'll find out Ireland will be somewhere along lines in the description of it, because so much rain. So it's not a practical camera for me for street photography. Have I captured good street photographs? Well, I'd, I'd blow my own trumpet. I'm happy with a lot of photographs. You see, it's not about you, it's not about Joe Blogs, it's not about Mary Blogs saying that my photograph's good or your photograph's good. If you're happy with images, why limit yourself simply because you haven't got a particular type of camera equipment? You haven't got the gear because such and such a YouTube guru who happens to either be getting sponsored by that company or happens to be using that camera is telling you that you have to use that camera. Instead of keeping away from the entry, ah, their entry level cameras are all okay, they're just entry level. Entry level for what? Seriously, like, I've seen so many people using top of the range cameras, pointing and shoot, setting it on till, uh, you know, program mode, setting it on till auto mode, and just, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. If they want to do that, that's fine. But because you can hold up a camera and point and shoot doesn't make a camera at best for street photography. Same way it doesn't make it good for sports photography because you have certain lens. It has to be down to the photographer. The camera equipment plays a big part in it. But what I'm trying to get you to think about is all of these um, you know, companies that are telling you and selling you um, their camera gear and the change and upgrading their cameras every other year. It's down to hook you in as a customer, to consume. And then they'll say, oh, this is a new improved model. And so oh, I need a new improved model. It's like the, the mobile phones, mobile phone devices. It's like Apple Mac. It's like all the different, you know, companies all upgrading. Like the latest car always brings up, oh, look at that, there, the bumper. We've changed the bumper a wee bit, but you need that there. Oh, look at that lovely, luxurious uh, steering wheel. It's more. And watch what you get sucked into, guys, because I'm telling you now, the best camera for you at this moment in time is a camera that you own. And if you're sitting waiting and not getting out in that street taking photographs because you're waiting on getting that XYZ camera, then you're missing out on so much. You know, I mean, I've used cameras in my past that generally, you know, it fell short of what I wanted, but I still went out and I still took photographs. When I started this channel, all I have is a wee tiny um, 20 euro, $30 um, camera. We point and shoot, we holiday snap. High enough megapixels, I suppose, but it's no, no focus and just straight point and shoot. 
and went out and took some photographs where they award winning. It doesn't matter. I honed my skills again. I started, you know, seeing images again by using the camera gear you got. So don't be waiting until you get these brochures that the camera companies are trying to hook you in. <laughs> hook you in, hook you in, face you in, and that'll be uh, you going hooked for the rest of your life and in debt unless you've got money, of course. Do you know what I mean? So guys, use the camera you've got. Stop looking for this holy grail because you go to the Canon Brigade, they're saying theirs is better than Nikon. Go to Nikon, they're better than Fuji. Fuji's better than Sony. Bloody blah, bloody blah, blah, blah. Olympus is this. And you'll be exhausted and you'll start to feel inadequate. You'll start to feel you haven't got the gear. And because you haven't got the gear, you can't get the shots. And that bullshit. Get out there and take photographs. Doesn't matter what camera you've got. Doesn't matter whether it's a $50 camera or a $5,000 camera. You're the photographer. Go and look for the photograph. Go and create photographs. Are you honestly telling me that there's no great photographs taken with the iPhone? You can take street photography with the iPhone. Many people have captured wonderful, great photographs. But go and tell that to the Canon Brigade, or the Nikon Brigade, or the Sony Brigade. No, no, no. They're not real cameras. They're not. They're bullshit. You need this one. Henri Cartier Brasson would never have used uh, a mobile phone. And if only Cartier Brasson was born in this era, I'm talking about it before he passed over, if he was born in the 70s and the 80s, he'd be using digital today. He wouldn't be running about, hiding a wee camera up his coat. He'd be shooting digital. It's as simple as that. So get out there and take photographs. Stop whinging about the gear that you haven't got. Stop looking for this holy grail and the best camera to use. It doesn't exist. The best camera to use is your own personal camera. And when you find a camera that really ticks all the boxes, then that's the camera. But I guarantee it's going to be different from my camera or Joe Bloggs' camera and the rest. So there you go, guys. Let me know your thoughts. In your opinion, what is the best camera for street photography? And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts because this was all about exchanging thoughts, exchanging energies. What's the best camera, in my opinion, for street photography? For me at this moment in time, that one. I can't afford another one at this moment in time. And it works. And it takes photographs. Well, it doesn't take photographs. It records the photographs that I tell it to take. Um, so there you go. My opinion, currently at this stage of my journey, the Nikon D3300 is the best camera for me for street photography. Uh, until the next one comes along, and that'll be another video. Guys, listen, send you love from Ireland. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. You can check me out on Twitter and on Facebook, and also rambles on my camera.com. Check out the Flickr page. And uh, as I say, I tell you, uh, leave a wee comment down below. Give the video a like. Give it a dislike. Do what you want. Um, I'd appreciate um, any feedback. Send a positive vibes, tell you. And uh, send you love from Ireland.